are delighted to be here today to let you know that the International Tennis Hall of Fame and Museum has achieved the highest per professional achievement in the museum industry, accreditation by the American Alliance of Museums. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like Kathy and Doug and Mark to unveil the plaque certifying this designation. <laughs> of the more than 17,500 museums in the nation, about 6% have attained this accolade. I'm particularly proud to tell you, to let you know that the Tennis Hall of Fame is the first sports Hall of Fame museum in the nation to achieve this accreditation status. We have this wonderful historic facility, but the museum is the very heart and soul of the International Tennis Hall of Fame. And in this museum, we work diligently to preserve the history of the sport and inspire its future. President of the American Alliance of Museums, and I'd like to share a brief video message from him to you here today. And the International Tennis Hall of Fame decided to see how it measured up to the highest standards of the museum field. Well, it more than measured up and is now included on the honor roll of the finest museums in the country and the first sports hall of fame in America to ever be accredited. The Hall of Fame and Museum has demonstrated its commitment to excellence in everything it does, in its governance, its public programs, its strategic and financial planning, its collection stewardship, and in its overall operations. Accreditation is a long journey, one that is challenging but obviously ultimately re rewarded. The International Tennis Hall of Fame and Museum is honored to be part of a larger museum community in Newport and Rhode Island that preserves our history, welcomes visitors and tourists from around the world, and contributes to the region's economy. As an accredited museum, we are part of a select group as the first sports hall of fame to be accredited and one of the first sports museums to be founded. This is a tremendous honor and we hope to continue to take a leadership role in the sports museum community. In addition, I'd like to thank our dedicated museum committee of volunteers led by Kathy Burton Jones. Accreditation signals to funders and donors that our museum is credible and accountable that we have a clear sense of purpose and that we manage to our mission. And it makes us a more sustainable organization. I think this is absolutely tremendous, this accreditation uh, of, of, for the museum. The museum is one of the cornerstones of the tourist industry uh, here, in, here in Newport. And for this to, to have happened is, is really something uh, that, that I'm very proud of. The Hall of Fame is gonna celebrate its 60th anniversary in 2014. And as I think many of you who have been around here I know that it's grown significantly over the last 60 years. We began in, in 1954 as the United States National Lawn Tennis Hall of Fame. In 1975, we became the International Tennis Hall of Fame and Museum, and we be began to embrace the worldwide nature of our sport. And the museum started to chronicle its history from the origins uh, to the present day. Today, I'm proud to say that the, the Hall of Fame has reached another milestone. Thank you all for coming. Enjoy some refreshments. Enjoy the slideshow and enjoy the museum. Thank you very much.